Good morning. It's gonna be another hot day and I'm getting ready to plant all of this in the ground. So in this hot weather, we actually have kind of a drought. We haven't had rain here for three weeks. I've been waiting on getting my garden seeds in and uh, these plants have been watered underneath the tree. And I wanted to show real quick some of the preparations that you need to be thinking about if you also have garden plants or herbs that you wanna get in the ground. These plants, this is Perillo or Shizo, and um, these plants here were as tall as this just a few minutes ago, but I started trimming them down. Um, this is, and I may even trim it down further. This plant going into the ground is while it's exciting and all that growth, we kind of look at that as a new gardener and think, I'm going to put this huge plant in the ground. I'm going to have instant garden. I'm going to have instant herb. Um, but we need to take a look at this plant from a stress standpoint. You can see that this plant has been in the pot for a while. The roots are out the bottom and all of this upper growth is glorious and wonderful and not that we can't use it. But when it goes into the ground, we want to trim it down so it does not wilt. So everything above the ground, these roots that are going into a hot soil, that it, they're not established, they can't get their own water yet, um, they're stressed out, they're trying to get their bearings, these roots are going to be asked to provide water and stabilization for everything above the ground. So the difference between that plant trying to support this much plant versus this much plant is uh, night and day. What you will have if you don't trim off the top of your plant is this whole entire plant will lose what's called turgidity which is the rigidness. And this is what, if you've seen a plant completely lay down on the ground and lose all structure and not be able to stand up, that's turgidity. That's um, the amount of water that's in the tissues that allow it to be rigid, that allow it to stand up. Uh, underneath the heat of the sun, if you plant this whole plant, those roots are gonna have to struggle to get water up out of what you've planted it with, whatever water you dribbled in there, um, it's going to struggle to get all of the liquid up and keep that plant rigid. So it's better to cut. And let me show you where I would cut. So for sure, probably on this plant, um, we're going to want to come right above two leaves on this plant. Uh, this is a, the leaf the leaf arrangement here is opposite, meaning there's one leaf opposite the other. And um, I'm going to be able to come right above that node and clip out that whole top. And then I'm going to put it into a bowl because these are greens. They are in, in Asian cultures. These are really important and nutritious greens. We're going to use them. We're not going to compost or trash them. But by taking the burden off of this plant, uh, the roots can focus on getting established without having to take all of their time keeping what's above ground um, able to photosynthesize and uh, alive. So by helping it out like that, we can make sure that its energy and attention can go towards putting these out into the soil, getting the networks established to start getting its own uh, fluid so that we don't have to haul water constantly to these plants. Um, so I'm going to do this with, I've got some pineapple sage back there. I've got some lemon verbena. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the tops of all of those before I put them in the ground. Now, something like a sunflower, I can't do that with. Uh, it may seem like, oh gee, I could cut it right above these two leaves. Unfortunately, you do that with a sunflower you've pretty much just lost your sunflower. So um, these are bigger than I would like to get in the ground, especially with the heat stress that's going on. Um, I love these more compact plants back here. I'm not gonna be stressed about them as much. 
Um, this I'm going to have to haul a lot of water and pay a lot of attention to because these sunflowers are going to get stressed in a drought and heat. We want to be careful. Uh, we want our gardens and we want to be able to uh, plant this year. Um, right now we don't expect rain for uh, in the foreseeable future. There's nothing in the next week. So we will be the rain. We will be hauling water. And uh, the, the less stressed my plant is, the, the less I need to be constantly on that because I know that the roots have the time and energy to go ahead and get everything established and um, be able to stand on their own two feet, which is what we want our plants to be able to do. Um, a lot of these things that I'm planting are perennials. I want them to get a good, solid foot holding um, in, out there as I plant them. It's cool right now. I'm going to be working throughout the day because it's not going to be as hot and it's going to be overcast, but we're just going to have to keep after the water and we're going to have to be careful not to stress them as much as we possibly can. So um, let me know how your gardens are going and if you have any questions, just let me know.